right? So is this thing perfect? No, guys, that's the problem. SNI does, here's the problem with SNI. It sends the host name in clear text. Why is it clear text? Hussein, you said it's part of the TLS. Yes, it's part of client hello. Hello, hello is not encrypted yet because client hello is the first attempt to request encryption all right so we don't have encryption there right so any extension there is probably not encrypted that includes the ocsp online certificate ah, was is that a status protocol request for stapling you know to to make sure the certificate is valid or not all of that is not encrypted so if you're paranoid of privacy right governments your government still can see which domains you go to right so all these nasty domains that you go to they see them it's clear dns is unencrypted well until someone figured out doh or dot right but until now dns is not encrypted okay if you use firefox by the way you can really you can really be in in a, in a, in a tank dude firefox is is badass Right, you can just do about config. Oh my god, you can enable ESNI, you can enable DOH, you can enable so much cool stuff with Firefox. It's a beast of a browser. I don't know if you can do it with Chrome. Chrome just got, kind of give you out of the box. I'm not be wrong though. Right, yeah. So what's the solution for SNI? There's no privacy, right? We talked about that. No privacy at all, right? Because they can see the domains. They cannot see what you're searching for, right? If you're Google, they cannot see what you're searching for, but they they know that you're going to Google, right? Maybe, and they can block you if they want to, right? With with ES with this and I, they can look at the client hello and look at that. It says, hey, you're doing that, right? ESNI is the new proposal to encrypt SNI, right? The client hello. Do you want a client hello? We want to encrypt that portion that says, hey, server, hello, sup, I want this host. By the way, it's encrypted, right? And the way Cloudflare really figured this out with Apple and other people, uh, I'm sorry, I don't remember their names right now. I'm going to add them post video, right? But the way they figured out the encrypted SNI is actually because think about it. You don't what do you encrypt this with? You don't have anything, right? What do you encrypt this with? You cannot encrypt it with anything. You just started about to start the TLS session for God's sake. You don't have nothing. Okay. But here's what they say. They say, okay, what do people do before TLS? It's like, well, before TLS, I established the TCP connection. Well, what do you do before TCP connection? Well, I need the IP address, right? And I need the port. I have the port. I'm, it's port 443. But what do you do? You need the IP address. What? Do, how do you get the IP address, right? Well, the user doesn't give it to you. He give you, he give you the domain. So you do a query on a, same thing, this thing called DNS, domain name server. And you ask for the IP address and you get the IP address. And from the IP address... You connect to this TCP, it's a TCP connection, and then after you establish a TCP connection, you do all that jazz, right? Hmm, pretty cool stuff, right? So they said, Cloudflare said, wait a second, we, we are a DNS provider. What if we provided a record in the DNS with a public key encryption matching the domain, right? And the user and the, uh, the owner of the domain just puts that up, right? So the public key will have a matching private key. So when I want to go to uh, Steve's brothel, right, I will make a query to the DNS and then Steve's brothel will have a public IP address and I can get the public IP of Steve's website, right? And then I get that. And then I establish the TCP connection, three sync and all that jazz, right? Three-way handshake. Got that. TCP connection about to make client hello. I got the public IP and public key of that domain. I will encrypt that SNI and I will send it across the client hello. 
So the server now knows, obviously, because now I'm using a new extension called ESNI, right? The server will receive, okay, this is an ESNI. L, this guy is smart. They, they actually obtained it from a DNS record. Okay, okay, cool. I, I, I think I can deal with it. I have the matching private key. It's an asymmetric encryption, obviously. And we talk about encryption, guys. I'm going to reference it here. And then I'm going to take the private key, unlock it, take that key. Oh, this guy wants to go to Steve's brothel. Okay. All right, once we got that, and then Steve's... Uh, what, what happened to Steve? Yeah, nothing. So we get that, uh, and, then, and then obviously... Everything happens. We we serve back the certificate for Steve's brothel and all that jazz, right? Coolish stuff, guys. Coolish. But you gotta think about that, guys. This has to happen. The DNS request is a UDP uh, connectionless thing to the server, right? So it's unencrypted. So the whole thing is moot if you don't encrypt DNS. And I'm gonna make another video about DOH and DOT, which is DNS over HTTPS and DNS over TLS and there's a lot of drama between people fighting over which people which thing to use I'm leaning toward DNS over HTTPS because uh, we don't want to use custom port for things and I don't care about you measuring DNS request who cares it's a request right uh, nobody need to monitor any traffics right but DOH I'm that uh, on, on that board, obviously, right? But yeah, so you have to encrypt the DNS, and so it, there's a lot of stuff to encrypt, guys, right? So, all right, summary. What did we discuss, guys? Well, we discussed what is SNI. This is server name indication. During TLS, you tell me which host do you really want, right? I'm gonna give you that certificate of the host, and I'm gonna do a smart thing behind the scenes to to actually serve you content for that host, right? So there's like three folders where the websites are. I'm gonna serve content from the right website for them, right? So uh, we showed how to set up SNI with the chair proxy. That was long, right? <laughs> we did that finally. And then uh, finally, we talked about the limitation of SNI and the invention, beautiful invention of ESNI. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I wanna see you in the next one.